Well, every so often, Congressman Steve Womack holds town hall style morning meetings that he calls coffee with a congressman, a way for him to get out in some of our smaller communities in his district and meet with people. Well, today he was met with a lot of anger from people who disagree, disagree with Donald Trump and they want him to do more. I am not here you to listen to you. Only minutes into today's full house meeting in West Fork and fingers were flying. Listen, I'm, gonna, I'm coming to your questions. We're just seven minutes into the assigned time. Dozens of people had to wait outside. I heard him say when I crowded my head into the door that he uh, wanted to be able to hear as many of us as he could. Well, the way to do that is to step outside where we are or to choose a venue that's large enough so that we can all be present. So it's very disappointing. Congressman Womack says this event was planned well before he could have anticipated the size of the crowd. He even apologized to the people of West Fork, who he says today's meeting was stolen from. I'm sorry to the community that it became uh, somewhat one-sided in, in not necessarily a lynch mob, but at least an angry mob that was just not going to be happy with anything I said. And it took away from the ability for us to have what I believe we need to have, and that's a good adult level discussion of the problems and the challenges facing America today. The meeting did accomplish some of that. The congressman answering questions about a slew of hot topics, the Affordable Care Act, the EPA, Medicare, the nation's debt, but not without constant interruption. You guys wasted a lot of money on Benghazi, wasted a little on Trump. Congressman Womack called today democracy in action. Oh, a lot of the people in there, you know, they're, they're not supporters of mine. I know that. They disagree with positions that I take. But um, again, uh, they do deserve to be heard. And I want to give them their opportunity to uh, elevate their voices and, uh, and have the ear of their member of Congress. Congressman Womack did say what happened today in no way or fashion will have him shy away from having more of these coffee discussions with the people of his district in the future.